So yesterday in class, we actually did some investigations related to infinite geometric series. And we discovered that there are actually two different types of infinite geometric series. There's something that's called a convergent series. That means the uh, particular series approaches a fixed value. If you were to add all those terms up in that series, it would approach something like 1 or negative 1 or 0, etc. The other thing we found out is there's a, a divergent series. That means if you tried to find the sum of all of those terms, you couldn't. It keeps getting larger and larger and larger and larger, and there's no actual sum. If a series is convergent, we can actually use the following formula to find the sum of that particular infinite geometric series. So that's a formula we're going to be using today in our examples, etc., to solve some problems. So if we flip to the next page, uh, the first question says determine the common ratio for each of the following series and state whether the sum to infinity exists. Calculate the sum if possible. Well, I'm going to start with part B here. If we look at the common ratio here, the common ratio is always term 2 divided by term 1. So you get negative 5 divided by 1, which gives you a common ratio of negative 5. But if you start trying to add this up, 1 plus negative 5 plus 25, the next term would be negative 125. It just goes on forever. So this particular geometric, infinite geometric series has a sum that goes on to infinity. So no sum exists for this particular series. However, if we look at the next series, this next series, if we find its common ratio, if we take the second term, which is one-third, and we divide by the first term, which is one, we get the common ratio is one-third. And you're going to notice that these terms are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So you're going to keep adding smaller and smaller chunks. So we should be able to find a sum here. So we're going to use our sum formula. It's A divided by 1 over R. Well, a in this case is 1, divided by 1 minus 1 third. Don't forget, if you're using your calculator, to put this in brackets, because you need to calculate that whole denominator before you can actually find the sum of that particular series. And if you actually punch that in your calculator and find the solution, you should find that the solution is 3 halves, or 1.5. You're going to see some questions, and you've experienced some questions already in this unit, ask for you to leave the sum as an exact value. Exact value means no decimals, so leave that particular one in that case as a fraction. The next question says, the first term of a geometric series is 2, and the sum to infinity is 4. Determine the common ratio. So if we write out our formula, for finding the sum of an infinite uh, geometric series, they tell us that this sum is 4, they tell us the first term is 2, and they want us to solve for r. Well, let's make 4 a fraction. Let's put it over 1, because when you have a fraction divided by a fraction, you have a proportion. So you can actually cross multiply here. You get 4 times 1 minus r equals 2 times 1. If we distribute the 4, 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times negative r is negative 4r equals 2. Subtract 4 from each side and you're going to get negative 4r equals negative 2. And if you divide by negative 4, you're going to find out that the ratio in this case is actually a half. Okay, last example. It says write the repeating decimal, 0 0.0. 77777, seven, 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 seven. so I'm going to just write that out, 077777. Seven, seven, seven. It says write it as an infinite geometric series. And you're going like, well, how can I do that? Well, essentially what this is, is it's 0 0.07 plus, you're adding a 
seventh each time, so 0 0.007 plus 0 0.0007 plus 0 0.00007, and so on. And it says, find the sum of this particular series uh, in, in section A that we've just written. So they want us to use our formula to find the sum of this particular series, but we actually have to know what the common ratio is before we can do that. So the common ratio is term 2, divided by term 1, and what you're going to find if you divide these two numbers is that the common ratio is actually 0.1. So we're going to get the sum is equal to the first term, which is 0 0.07, divided by 1 minus 0.1. Uh, this is actually going to give us 0 0.07 divided by 0 0.9 because 1 minus 0.1 is 0.9 if you actually simplify this if you actually multiply this out uh, you multiply both of these by a hundred to get rid of the decimals you're gonna get 7 over 90 is the sum here or you could have got a decimal if you worked that out so basically what you're gonna be doing today is you're going to be using this formula here to solve some problems.